Hello everyone, here is Annette. Hope you are all good. Today, let's speak a little bit about how to communicate with the Holy Spirit. Stay tuned. So, how to speak with the Holy Spirit? How to hear from Him? Hallelujah. How to receive instruction from the Holy Spirit? The first thing I want to share with you is that we are children of God by faith. We believe in God by faith. Everything concerning God, we believe in it by faith. So for you to hear from God, you need to have faith that, that God actually hear from you. And when you receive an answer, you need to have faith that this answer is coming from God. Hallelujah. So faith is a must in the relationship that we have with God. Let's read the book of Hebrews 11, 6. But without faith, it's impossible to please and be satisfactory to him. That is God. For whoever will come near to God must believe that God exists and that he is the rewarder of those who earnestly and diligently seek him. Hallelujah. Earnestly and diligently seek him. So, Hearing from God is a process. Hallelujah. There is no standard method like you have to do this 11 day of fasting or 14 day of this, then you hear from God. No, there's no standard method. It's between you and the Holy Spirit that dwells in you. Hallelujah. He can push you to do something for you to have a good communion with him or the, and the same thing that he did for one will not be the same thing that he will do for another person. So there's no standard method. It's all about the relationship that you have with God. But in the process of hearing from God, you need to be perseverant. You need to seek God diligently, earnestly. That means like every day, Lord, I want to receive the grace to hear from you. From you, Lord, teach me your voice. Lord, this, Lord, this. you have to pray for that first of all. But the most, the most, most, most is the faith, first thing. Now you have to know that God is our Father. And the will of God is to speak with us. God wants to speak with us. Remember, he let the Holy Spirit, when Jesus was going to heaven, and said the Holy Spirit, he is our comforter. He will be the one to teach us, to direct us, to guide us, to comfort us, to defend us. And to do all those things, we need to have a relationship with him. We need to speak with him to receive the instruction. We need to speak with him to receive the, 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 the guidance, the teaching that you need for your life. You, you need to speak with the Holy Spirit. So the will of God is to speak with us. Hallelujah. And he put the Holy Spirit in us to speak with us constantly, to explain, to direct Hallelujah. So that is the will of God for us. So knowing that, having faith and knowing that God actually wants to speak with you, now you have to start practicing. Your faith will let you know that everywhere you are, God is actually here. By your faith, you know that when you, say, you wake up in the morning and you say, Hello, Holy Spirit, He hears you. By your faith, you know that I receive this thing. I have this conviction. By your faith, you have to know that this is the answer of the Holy Spirit. Or else you will never be able to know for sure that this is the Holy Spirit. You need to have faith. One thing that is simple that I also practice at the beginning of this year is to ask the Holy Spirit question. Ask him question and expect an answer. But don't forget your your question. Don't ask him thousands of questions at the same time. By the time you will respond, you will not even know if you will not notice that he actually responds to you because you are forgetting the question. So remember the question and keep it in your mind. Be in the expectation that God will answer me. And you just be surprised. It will be like maybe you, you are about to sleep and you have a clear thought that come in your mind, like an answer to your question. Or it be in the dream, or it be like in someone, someone just speaking about something, but in, in what he's saying, you receive the answer. Or in a sermon, 
You can also receive an answer. And the best way, by reading the Bible, you can also receive an answer. You can read the same verse that you have already read thousands of times, but that day, you take some, something in that verse that concerns you directly. So, practicing asking questions to God. Hallelujah. Acknowledge His presence. Praise Him. Say thank to Him. Just be like you are with someone here and you are speaking to Him. You are laughing with Him. Even if you don't receive the answer directly as if you are speaking with someone. I think you are doing a dialogue. He will certainly reply to you. Hallelujah. So practicing speaking with God. Ask Him specific question and wait for, for His answer. So that's also a good way to practicing speaking with God. Hallelujah. And now I will give you the easiest way to hear from God every day. Are you ready? Read your Bible. <laughs> Read your Bible every single day and you will be sure that God will speak to you at least once a day. Read your Bible. While you're reading your Bible, ask question. Confess it. Okay? Meditate on it. You will just wonder that God spoke, spoke with you. He gave you something, he gave you a revelation, or just the simple word, he informed you, he reminded you something that maybe you are forgetting, he encouraged you. Yeah, God is his word. So, more you read the Bible, more you have at least one word from God every day. Is it not marvelous? So, just read your Bible. That's the simplest, the simple way for you to hear from God. Hallelujah. So, uh, after that, maybe uh, some of us, you want to become prophet, <laughs> to see great things, just seek it earnestly, diligently, and even the gift that God has, has put in you, the gift of prophecy, will also increase. So, you'll be able to see like, you, I see you there, your phone number, your age, <laughs> your date of birth, is this, this, this. So, this, all those things will just come by practicing, by, by, by seeking God diligently, and uh, he will give to everyone by his grace. Hallelujah. That is a gift. But in terms of communicating with his children, everyone should communicate with his father. Hallelujah. So I think uh, I answer to that question, how to hear from God, how to communicate with the Holy Spirit. And that we start practicing. We have that faith and you will know that God actually loves us and he wants to speak with us every day. And the most First thing is to read the word of God, read our Bible as much as possible. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye. God bless you.